Uh, Sam Roberts at Gorrington Road on a Thursday night, um, and I've managed to catch. Oh, shit. I've managed. To, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Ray. I've managed to. Uh, I've managed to catch up with Paul Larkin. Paul, uh, first and foremost, welcome. How is it landing at Gorrington Road? Okay, it's been uh, it's been pretty spectacular. It's been fast, and I I must admit, uh, I'm getting to know the lads. Um, it's been uh, it's been quite difficult because uh, entire different set of uh, calls and uh, they vary club to club the moves are all the same but the calls are all different so um, I'm just getting to know what what they are and then the real challenge is getting to know the players and to find out their strengths and weaknesses and uh, you know facilitate their needs to improvement. But from a point of view of looking at a team like Bedford Blues and the way Mr Rare likes to play his rugby it must have been a job that you were kind of salivating at. Exactly. Um, Bedford Blues have been, uh, for the last sort of you know, eight or nine years, uh, one of the top sides in the championship. And uh, I've you know, very honoured and privileged to be uh, given this opportunity. Um, the, the backs have already uh, shown me that they are a talented bunch. And uh, as I said earlier, it's, it's, it's just for me to, to bring the best out of them. Um, Obviously, over the, the pre-season, uh, you know, Nick Welsh and uh, uh, Mike have done an exceptional job with the backs and uh, it's now just for me to take that on. Well, you've been here not very long, but you've overseen a wonderful result down at Cornish Pirates and yeah. you've seen uh, a puzzling draw at home away this weekend against London Scottish. What does that pose? I think we need to give a little bit of perspective to the last two weeks. Um, Pirates was uh, an exceptional performance um, in, in very trying uh, conditions and circumstances, but we went there and we played and showed what we could do. Uh, I think we mustn't do uh, Doncaster down in terms of their, uh, th their ability. Their resilience uh, in defence was, uh, was quite, quite clear and uh, we have to give them some credit for that, but uh, we, we, we definitely carried some disappointment um, from, from the performance at the weekend. But looking forward to London Scottish, we see this uh, as an op opportunity to bounce back and, uh, and, and clearly show what we can do. Um, because we, f we felt last weekend we didn't fire on all cylinders. Difficult place to go so much in that they are an unknown quantity to the league yeah. and they will see Bedford Blues as a massive scalp. I think... Every club sees Bedford Blues as a massive scalp and I think with uh, London Scottish just coming uh, in, into uh, the Championship they are uh, desperate to, uh, to get results on the board. They play uh, a very exciting brand of rugby, um, maybe they play a little too much um, but they will find their feet uh, over the first sort of three or four months of the season and you know they'll get stronger and they'll get better we just have to uh, make sure that we uh, hit the ground running on on Saturday and uh, put them on the back foot straight away thank you very much for your time good luck at the weekend good luck for the season and hopefully speak to you a bit later